Hello, this is Dina from the Marks Group. We are here to support all of your Zoho needs. For any help you need, you can feel free to reach out to us at info at marksgroup.net or visit our website, marksgroup.net, for many different Zoho resources. Today we're going to talk about dependency mapping, and you may be wondering exactly what that is. So to first show you what it is, we're going to go to Accounts. We're going to open an account. And then you'll see here I created a field called um, oops, called policy type. That's a pick list field. And then I also created a field called policy number. And we have a number of different pol uh, numbers here as well. So what you can do with dependency mapping, I can choose auto here. And then when it comes to the policy number, rather than have to scroll through and see a lot of policy numbers that may, be, not, may not be applicable to the policy type of auto, we want to just show the, the applicable um, policy numbers for auto. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go into settings. Then you're going to go over here to mod customization, modules and fields. And then we're going to go into the layout for accounts. Just going to pick the standard layout. And before we do this, I just want to show you. So what I have here is I have um, a pick list field for policy type. And I have a number of different policy types included here. And then I have another pick list field for policy number. And I have a number of different numbers here as well. So my objective now is to make sure that whatever policy type uh, somebody chooses, only the policy numbers that are applicable for that policy type is going to appear. So the way you take care of setting that up is that in your layout, we have this little settings gear. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to go here to map dependency fields. And when you click on that, it tells you right here this page allows you to create dependencies between two pick lists or between a pick list and a multi pick list. So I'm going to go and click new and then it's going to ask me for the parent field, which is the policy type because that's going to be the first field that will then drive the policy number. And then in the child field, we're going to put policy number. And as you can see, even though we had a, a number of fields in the account record, you can see that the only ones that are showing up here for us to pick are the pick list fields. I'm going to click Next. And then I'm going to uh, you know, assign the right fields based on the um, policy type. So here, if the policy type is None, we don't want a policy number to show up. So you would just click on that, and that's all you need to do. Auto, uh, and then Auto would be I'm going to do all of the, um, you can do shift if I hold down the shift button. I'm going to do all the one numbers that start with two. Life will be all the numbers that start with three. Medical will be all the numbers that start with four. And then because there's more than four options in this pick list, you're going to click next and then we have disability and those will be all the numbers with five. Then I can click Save. Let's just go back for a minute previous. So now you can see that for each policy type, there's a specific group of policy numbers that will appear for them. So we're going to click Save. And now let's go back into the account record and go back to our example here. And if we scroll down, I'm going to go actually move into Edit Mode. And if we scroll down to policy type, you can see that all of the different policy types are still here. But if we go to policy number now that auto is selected, you can see that now only the numbers that started with two that we highlighted are appearing here. So if we were to change it to life, you'd see only the numbers starting with three, medical, same thing, and disability, same thing as well. So as you can see, that dependency mapping is a very convenient um, option to streamline the fields um, or the options within fields that people see so they don't have to scroll through a lot of 
um, options that aren't relevant for them. So one thing to uh, understand here, some of the limitations around uh, dependency mapping. You cannot have the first field be a multi-pick list. It needs to be a single pick list. But the second field, the child field, can, ha can be a multi-pick list. So that's one of the, the limitations that you need to be aware of. I'm going to save this. And then just go back in here to the modules and fields and just remind you again of what we did before we sign off. So as you can see, when we go in here, if you go into the map dependency fields, we could see we have this type here. If we edit it, you could see that all of this. So another thing to keep in mind is that we can add to this um, pick list. If we were to add to the pick list, Let's say we were going to add, um, I'll just add long term, term disability. So now we can, if we didn't add, if I save this and I was to go out again to accounts, edit. If I was to choose long-term disability, you would see everything show up here because I didn't specify what was needed. So now what I'm going to do, now that I added in another uh, policy type, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add in another round of numbers here in the policy number. I'm going to actually add it in bulk, and I'm going to add 6601, 6602, 6603. Add those choices, save it, then I'm going to go into my map dependency, edit it, and I'm going to go here to long-term disability, and I'm going to highlight the six numbers. That's updated. So now if we go to the accounts, go back to our example, go to edit. Now if we were to choose long-term disability, you can see now that the 666, the 66 numbers come up as well. So as you go through and as you add options, you want to make sure that you go and update the, map, the dependency field settings as well. I hope this was helpful for you in showing you a, another way to streamline the data that people have to look at in Zoho CRM. If you need assistance with anything else related to Zoho, please feel free to contact us at info at marksgroup.net or visit our website at marksgroup.net. Thank you.